नमस्ते सभी को गुड मॉर्निंग वी आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी बाय द सेल्फ एंड वी वर डिस्कसिंग स्टेप फोर ऑब्जर्विंग द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी जस्ट टू ब्रीफली रिकैप द स्टेप्स इन एक्सरसाइज टू इन स्टेप वन we were trying to observe these two realities the self a unit of consciousness and the body a material unit we were trying to observe these two as distinct entities so we can see that i am there as a reality i exist and i can see that i can exist i am existing because i can see the activities that are going on within me i can see my imagination i can see my feelings my thoughts my expectations going on within me so i can see i am there i can also see that the body is there and how do i know that the body is there we read some sensations from the body and then we can see that the body is also there in step 2 we said that this interaction that happens between the self and the body is only in the form of exchange of information nothing physical is being exchanged there is no physiochemical transfer between the self and the body that it is the exchange only of information some instructions that pass from me sensations in the body that i read both of these our information in step 3 we try to observe who is deciding who is the decision maker in all this interaction between the self and the body and we could for the most part most of us could see that it is the self that is deciding so there are many sensations in the body i the self choose decide which sensation to pay attention to which sensation to read and then i give meaning to this sensation that i read and on the basis of some decision i come to after giving the meaning then i give some particular instruction to the body so in all of this you can see that i am the one who is deciding which sensation to read i am the one who's deciding when to read it i am the one who's deciding what meaning to give to it i am the one who's deciding what instruction to give to the body and then i go ahead and give that instruction and the body follows so i am the seer i am the doer i am the experiencer the body is just a tool that i am using for my purpose in step 4 we try to see these sensations that we can read from the body when we read those sensations we ask the questions the sensation that i am reading am i that sensation 
that I am reading? Am I in the sensation? Or am I at a distance from the sensation? And with this we can see that many of you also were able to see this and we discussed it, that I am not the sensation, neither am I in the sensation. But I can observe the sensation in the body from a distance. So there is a distance between me and the sensation. The sensation is in the body. The observer is me, the self. So there is a distance between the self and the body. And we were continuing with this discussion. There were some observations from you. We had talked of um, an assignment for this step to observe any sensations in the body, whether it be pain, whether it be itching, heat or cold sensation, hearing the heartbeat, any numbness, any kind of sensation in the body. And to ask these questions, are you the sensation? Are you in the sensation? Or are you at a distance from the sensation? This is an important step because if I can see, suppose there is a sensation of pain in the body. And if I can see the distance between myself, who is observing the pain, and the sensation of pain in the body, then I don't get identified with the pain. Because I am seeing it from a distance, I don't suffer the pain. I am able to see that the pain is somewhere in the body. And I am not that pain and nor am I in that pain. But I am at a distance so I don't get disturbed by it. I am able to observe it and this is true for all observation that we do from the state of the pure observer. When we observe we are able to see our distance and therefore don't get involved in it so we don't suffer the pain and we can actually respond to the pain if I understand that this body is a tool and I have taken the responsibility to take care of this body to nurture it, to protect it to rightly utilize it then I will take this opportunity to respond to this symptom of pain in the body by doing whatever is needed to bring the body back into harmony. Because this pain in the body is a symptom of the disharmony in the body. So like that I can respond to every sensation that I can see in the body that I pay attention to. Uh, Didi, I was observing yesterday. I was at my home only. Uh, I was getting a stomach uh, because I was traveling in the afternoon. Morning itself, I was having some stomach upset. Then I was thinking... For past two travels, when I, re when I was in the other place, I had the stomach issue. Um, so I was thinking the food over there uh, was making me that issue. But then I observed I was having 
before itself the travel happened i'm feeling that pain so my uh, it is not my i was thinking the body has gone to do something because two instances before it had so that is why uh, that is coming i could uh, i was free, i could identify it then i thought it should not i should not it should not happen so this fear is coming because of that fear disharmony in the self the body is getting affected thinking in that way is it correct didi yeah any in fact if you see any disharmony in the body there can be couple of reasons no it could be some problem in the body it could be a problem in the cell so and the body's recognition and fulfillment is very definite so if the self gives the body some food to eat which is not nurturing for the body it will not nurture the body body cannot choose to make it work any other way isn't it so you know but that decision also what food to give to the body that is up to the self now if the self is able to understand say you are traveling now you are you know your requirement for the body of the body for food is less than usual because there is no activity then accordingly you give less food to the body but if we continue to eat like we do with normal activity then perhaps this process of digesting the food that may not happen properly and it may actually end up causing stomach pain or some other disharmony in the body so there also you can see that it is up to the self what food to give to the body how much to give when to give all that the self can take charge besides this what you are mentioning also the fear it's very true that if i don't see my distance from the body somewhere that assumption keeps coming up that i am the body so if there is a disturbance some disharmony in the body when i pay attention to it when i read that sensation rather than see my role my responsibility towards the body and taking charge of the situation responding to the situation by doing whatever is necessary to get the body back into harmony rather than do that i get so involved with the pain i think this whole thing is happening to me and because i have over evaluated this or because i am so identified with it then you know this fear comes up that something happening to the body is something happening to me and so i am not able to see that distance between myself and the body but once you are observing this distance then you can also notice this that this is something that is happening in the body and i can take responsibility for it i can do whatever is needed to respond to the situation and not get disturbed about it in fact this awareness of the sensations in the body and awareness of what is going on in the self what we did in exercise 1 when we are aware of the feelings the thoughts that are going on within me and at the same time we can also be aware of the sensations that we pay attention to in the body the very awareness of this to be able to see this i no longer identify with it rather 
I can see that this is something at a distance from me and I can respond to it. So that changes the whole picture for me. But when I don't see this, I am not aware of it, whether it be the feeling in myself, whether it be the sensation in the body. If I am identified with it, then I start suffering the feeling if the feeling is not naturally acceptable to me. I start suffering the sensation in the body if that sensation is not to my liking. That experience of um, the sensation and the meaning I give to that sensation, that is all up to me. In the next step, we'll also observe how we give the meaning to the sensations. Travel. When it takes off, like uh, obviously because of which the body, there are changes. And uh, like I could see, I can hear this uh, uh, numbness in my ears and feet, you know, like the sensation has been switching uh, within the body. And I was feeling very discomfort. But I, then I realized like it's not the body, but the self which commands it. Within myself, I was interacting with self. And uh, within few minutes, I could stabilize. Yeah, so here, try to observe this, that the problem is there in the body or in the self. The sensation in the body, what meaning you have given to the sensation, that is causing a problem, isn't it? So somewhere this fear or anxiety, whatever it may be, now you have to observe within yourself that the why you have fear or why you have anxiety in this okay. So somewhere we are giving a certain meaning to this. When we give this meaning, then according to the meaning that we give, a distance, all these sensations in the body, we are not really observing these sensations. It might almost be like for that moment, we may be as if you are that sensation. You may feel like that at that time, at that moment. But the yes. moment you become aware, then you can see the distance. Not that you have to control the, the sensation. See, there are many sensations going on in the body. We are not trying to control the sensations. We okay. just want to see, we are already paying attention to many sensations. We are just wanting to become aware of what we are paying attention to, what sensation we are paying attention to, and okay. why we are paying attention to that. Mm -hmm. To become aware of it, something that I consider important. So somebody who is flying the first time, they, pay, they may pay a lot of attention to in the body. Flying every day, even two, three times a day from one place to another, now they become accustomed to it. Now it doesn't seem to disturb them as much. But is it uh, like we can, by self, we can control the sensation. Is it not right? Or... Do you want to control sensations or do you want to understand? You know, control makes it seem like you are forcing something. There's no force involved. You are just observing the sensation in the body. As we go further in the steps in this exercise, we will also observe how I am giving meaning to this sensation. Different people will give different meaning. You will observe that also. There may be another person who is today. That person may not be giving this meaning. That person may not be having this anxiety and fear because they are not giving this meaning that we are giving to this sensation. So the, the whole thing is about the sensation in the body, not trying to control it, but rather observing and understanding.
that there is some physiochemical change that is happening in the body. That is the sensation that is taking place in the body. Disturbance happened in the body. And if you have to test in the body, you will find some, maybe, some physiochemical change. But my interpretation of that, first of all, I am choosing to read that particular sensation at that time. I am also choosing to give meaning to that sensation that I read at that time. And then I am deciding what to do and I am giving the instruction to the body. So I can respond to that sensation or if I give a different meaning to it, I may suffer that sensation and I may give some instruction to the body which will cause further disharmony in the body. So all that, if I am aware and I can see my distance from that sensation, now I am able to comfortably respond to the body neither being disturbed in the self nor creating further disturbance in the body. Ah, uh, ma'am, when I uh, sit and observe uh, myself, particularly I concentrate for the one of the part of the part of my body, I can feel the sensation, for example, uh, numbness in the leg and foot like that. And uh, if I concentrate for my breathing, I can feel that, I can feel the sensation of that breathing also and the rate of breathing uh, like that. And uh, uh, my nose is itching by the time, then my observation shifted to that, uh, uh, the part where the itching is started. Uh, what I want to say, I cannot uh, observe that whole body sensation at a time. Where I put my concentration, that is sensation that only I can uh, observe. Another, uh, when I uh, have a backache uh, while observing, uh, that will be gone uh, uh, after, like after it, uh, five, 10 minutes. Actually, if we see yeah. what you're mentioning, you mm -hmm. are not able to see the whole body sensation. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, I mean, what maybe you are trying to say is that when you try to focus, you can only focus on one part. It's almost yeah. like you are zooming into one part, paying attention to that part. Mm -hmm. But even without being conscious of it, mm -hmm. even without being aware of it, we will notice mm -hmm. that we are um, paying attention to some part where there is pain mm. because I have, you know, I am giving importance to that part because mm. I think that that is something that needs my attention. Mm -hmm. it? So somewhere mm -hmm. I am noticing where there is pain and I am paying attention to that, even mm. if it be unconsciously or without awareness. Mm -hmm. So now we can do it with awareness. As we develop our competence, mm -hmm. we'll be able to see that it's like scanning the body. Mm -hmm. Able to observe when there is any kind of disharmony in the body, you pick it up very quickly if you're just trying to observe the whole body. Mm -hmm. But when you're trying to zoom in or you're trying to focus on one particular point, mm. then you'll be able to very clearly feel that sensation in that point, even though a you know, few moments before that, mm. when you weren't consciously observing that, you weren't able to see that sensation. Like we were doing that exercise the other day of mm. observing in a particular, say, the thumb or the toe. Mm -hmm. now, before you took the decision to observe, you were not even aware of any sensation there. Yeah, ma'am. But when you took the decision to become aware of that, mm -hmm. you could see that you are aware there is a sensation there. 
and you can notice this sensation you yeah. can observe this sensation mm. so uh, you know as the self develops the competence our competence to be able to feed mm -hmm. these sensations in various parts of the body mm -hmm. also will increase mm -hmm. and in fact the self has the competence to see what is going on within it mm -hmm. and see the sensations that are there in the body and mm -hmm. also take note of the outside mm -hmm. through the various sensations that are reaching the body from the outside which we'll discuss in the next step when we go there so we may you know we are already doing it without awareness mm -hmm. now we can become aware now we can look at the interaction of the self with the body and the world outside which is what we were discussing a moment ago and we find that these sensations that we pay attention to there can be many sources for this sensation in the body so if we look at the interaction that we have with other human beings when we are interacting with other human beings supposing you know you are talking to somebody and the person is saying something to you so what is happening the person says something now that sound is reaching 